In this video, I'm going to be covering how I use my Tascam 4 track for composing and sound designing. So with a project like this, I usually start off with a synth, and in this case, I've got the Novation Ultranova. And on it, I have a patch called Modify Bad Pad. So this is just an altered version of a patch which comes with the synth called Bad Pad. And it sounds a bit like a floaty sine wave with different modulation going on. So I'll give you a quick demo of it now. I start off doing my chord progression because that gives me a layer to base all my melodies off. So with this one, I'm just going to do a simple chord progression in either this octave or a higher up octave. This is because when I get it onto tape, I'll probably pitch it down quite a bit. Also, with the chord progressions, when I'm recording, I like to play quicker than what I practiced because when I pitch it down, the chord progressions will be slower. So I want them to match what I wanted in the first place. So I'm just going to play for you now the chord progression that I settled with. And this is with it pitched down. So I'll turn the pitch back up. So this is what I was playing on the synthesizer. And that just demonstrates what I was talking about, about playing higher up in the octave. I also play the chord progression slightly quicker when I'm recording because I want it to be at the right speed when I pitch it down. So that's it pitched back up. And then there's it pitched down. I also quite like having a high cut on the chord progression. So on the Tascam, you've got EQ here and here, so that's high and low. So I usually turn down the highs ever so slightly. And that's how I settle with my chord progression. So the next step that I took was to record some simple melodies on the rest of the tracks. So if I turn the pitch up to where it was when I recorded the tracks, I'll play you the arpeggio first, then the simple saw sine sort of wave. It's a bit more distorted and then the bad pad melody. So it's the same as the chord progression that we've done. However, I've just put the octave up again. So let's start off with the arpeggio. So that's the arpeggio just following the chord progression. Now this is the distorted sort of saw sine wave thing. Notice with this one, it's really high up in the octave. Now blend in the chord progression. Now I'll blend in the higher bad pad. So this is the bad pad melody. Same as the chord progression, same sound as the chord progression, just higher up in the octave. So now I'll turn it to the pitch, which I liked. So this is the roughly where I settled for with the pitch control, so it's almost all the way down. So if I blend in the chord progression first and then start blending in the rest of the sounds, you can definitely hear now that slowing down the tape really adds to the Atmos. And if I recorded this at the octave that I liked the sound, then this would just sound way too low and be really muddy. That's why I recorded it higher up, so that 
when this is pitched down, it sounds how I liked it on the synth. with all of these different melodies. So now that all the melodies are sorted and we've got them all on our separate tracks, another key step is putting the Tascam through different guitar pedals. So I really like using this Digitech Obscura one on the end because it turns the sort of mono signal out of the Tascam into a really nice wide stereo one. And I've got a couple others set up over here. So this is a chorus pedal, this one's just mono, a phaser, an overdrive pedal, a DIY one. I also have a little loop pedal. So I'll just set up the delay now so I can give you a little demo on what it sounds like. So this is the chord progression, just dry, no delay. So this is the Digitech Obscura pedal now. And you can already hear that it's just a lot wider. So I'll turn it off. That's with no delay. And that's with delay. So now I'm just gonna do a quick performance with the Tascam and then I'll run you through what I do on my DAW after everything's recorded. Now that we're in our DAW, in this case Cubase, here is our recorded source. So this is the Tascam file. So this is what I just recorded from that performance. And I'll just take you through the list of what I have on it. A little EQ cutting out the low rumbles. It's also cutting out the main bulk of where the track seemed very muddy. And this is a classic case of using cassette where it becomes muddy around this sort of range. So if I play that back now. So you can see there's a big old peak there. If I say it like that. It's very resonating. So what I'd done to try and tackle that was I added a multi-band compressor just on that area as well. So we've got the EQ cutting that little section and also the multi-band. So if we have a look on our master output on the analyzer, we can still see it's a bit of a peak, but it's a lot more controlled. So on the master, I've done the same thing. I've just cut out the mid sort of dirty area and also added a multi-band compressor there as well. So I've also added a compressor just to beef it up a little bit. I haven't really done an awful lot on here. You just see the tone that back a bit. And to give it the lush ambient sort of effect, I added a big fat reverb on it. 
So here we go. So it's a pretty beefy one. You can hear it there. If I press play and then stop. So it's a big old reverb. That's adding all the crazy ambiences. So everything layers back on top of each other. I'll just give you a demo now. And then the next thing I thought would be quite interesting would be to add a couple of other little elements like birds tweeting. So in this case I've got some birds tweeting from Falmouth campus. So this is back at my old university campus. On this one, I've also added a big old reverb just to make it a bit more ethereal. So you can see the mix 85% that's quite mixed in. So if I go and drop that one back down, roughly around here, I think, just have to blend it in and play from around here. So it just adds that little extra bit of Atmos, a little bit of nature. What I also done was I added in some river slash stream sort of Atmos. So on this one, I've also added a little bit of reverb. That's it dry. And there it is with reverb. And if I drop that all the way down and start blending it into the piece. It felt like it started setting the scene a bit more for this atmosphere. Just accentuate it a little bit. So those were the final little touches I done. I, there wasn't an awful lot that I did. Um, just an extra bit of compression, a bit of EQ, just sort of reining in the bits which resonated way too much. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment below and be sure to check out some of my other work on my website and my other social media platforms. Cheers.